Cracking an average old-fashioned safe presents no problems to the experienced criminal. To effect entry requires only courage, a dark night, and the proper tools. From one such job, a man can make enough to live comfortably for as long as 20 years, depending, of course, on the judge. To explain the reason behind this deplorable crime, let me take you to Los Angeles two days ago. Uh, five of diamonds on the six of clubs. Anything I hate is a kibitzer. <laughs> five on six. Good morning, Mr. Bean Blossom. Good morning, George. I missed your boss in the park this morning. He didn't uh, smash up his bicycle again, did he? I'm afraid Sam won't be riding his bicycle for a while. He's home in bed. Sam in bed? Why, I can hardly believe it. He's always so strong and energetic. Yeah, but Sam's 65. He sent me over here to pick you up. Wants to see you right away. Yeah. Well, Mr. Thacker will probably rant and rave and threaten to fire me. <laughs> Am I glad I won't be around to hear him? George, you're pretty worried about Sam, aren't you? Me worried about him? <laughs> Don't be silly. That old goat could pull through anything. Yeah, I am worried. Let's go, George. Oh, George, he looks terrible. I'm certainly glad you brought me. You don't look any worse than usual. Have a seat. I got a hunch you'll wake up any minute now. The vinegar push if I ever saw one. Oh, well, Sam, you're awake. Oh, sure, I'm awake. Oh, take it easy, Sam. Uh, but look, down, look. boy, down. <laughs> Don't force me to use judo on you. You're a very sick man. You shouldn't oh, be upset. Oh, I've never felt better in my life. I've just been faking, son. Fake, faking? Why? Because the South Coast Trust Company has a full rule that a man should retire when he's 65, and I'm 65 tomorrow. Well, you own the company, just refuse to retire. No, I can't break that rule, boy. I made it myself. Oh, caught in your own trap, huh? Uh, uh, not yet, no. Last night, the board of directors threw a banquet for me. Wanted to give me a gold watch. That's why I took to my bed. If I can keep them from giving me that watch, I'm not officially retired. Yes, but Sam, you can't go on hiding in this room forever. I know I can't. That's where you come in. Me? Yeah, I've got a plan, and I want you to help me. Promise. Well, what's the plan? Promise first. Uh, okay, I promise. Good. Bean Blossom, you and I are gonna take a little trip to Santa Rita. Santa Rita? That's my hometown. Oh. We're gonna get a hold of my birth record and tamper with it. <laughs> tamper with it? Yeah. Tomorrow I'll be 61, not 65. Get it? <laughs> Mr. Franklin is here from the bank. He's got a gold watch from Mr. Hamilton. Says he won't leave until he gives it to him. Get rid of him. You, Get rid of him. Uh, come in. Where is Mr. Hamilton? I have something for him. Yeah, I'm Mr. Hamilton. I mean, I'm, I'm Robert S. Bean Blossom. The, the doctors are giving Mr. Hamilton an examination in the next room. Uh, perhaps you better go, sir. <laughs> it's no good, Mr. Bean Blossom. I'm determined to stay here and present this lovely watch to Mr. Hamilton. Uh, will you hold the watch, please, while I run through this lovely little presentation speech that I wrote myself? <clears throat> <laughs> In the course of man's life, he must inevitably reach the age of retirement. Such a man is today being honored by the South Coast Trust Company. He is a man known to all of us to be understanding, friendly, kind, and warm-hearted. This watch... <laughs> Mr. Bean Blossom. You have a cruel streak. No, no, M Mr. Franklin, look. <laughs> Robert, we've done it. Now off to Santa Rita. Oh, Sir Sam, I don't think I can go to Santa Rita today. See, I've got some work to do at the office. Oh, I'll get you out of it. Now, just don't stand there. Give me them pants. Pants? Oh, your pants. <laughs> Anybody in sight? No, not a soul. Sam. I don't know whether Mr. Thacker's gonna let me go with you or not. Oh, of course he'll let you go. Just let me do the talking. Sam, what you ought to do is give up this whole crazy idea and retire. Your golf game needs a little improvement. George, your liver's acting up again. You're nothing but a, an old pickle push. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> I'll 
for goodness sakes, where have you been? Oh, hello, Julie. Has Mr. Thackeray been looking for me? He'll be back in a minute, and is he furious? I hope you have a good excuse. Well, it may not be good, but it has the distinct advantage of being totally fantastic. Can she be trusted, son? What? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, Julie, I'd like you to know Mr. Hamilton. Sam, this is Miss Marshall. How do you do, Mr. Marshall? Happy to meet you, Mr. Hamilton. Likewise. But uh, forget that I was here. Well, as long as Thackeray's not here, let's vamoose. Oh, oh no, Sam. Now, I promised to help you, but you promised to help me, too. All right, all right. We'll wait for him in his office. Yes. Uh, but... Don't worry, it's okay. I'll tell the old boy some cock and bull story about why I need your help for a few days. Yes, sir. You, you know, uh, when you're as important as I am, people believe anything. Oh, well, Sam, what do you want? Mr. Franklin just drove by and recognized your car. Well, I think he's coming in. Probably got another watch for me. Well, Sam, <laughs> out this window. A man of my age, crap. Couldn't I stay and just belt him one? Come on, Sugar Ray, let's go. Well, Sam, uh, Sam? what'll I do if he's got another watch? Smash it, of course. <laughs> Smash it, of course. Late to work, pushing people out windows, smashing watches. It's gonna be a very interesting day. <laughs> I'm looking for Mr. Hamilton, and I know he's here. Oh, yes, sir. If you'll just sit down, sir, I'll buzz him. Never mind the buzzing. I've got him cornered. Now he'll retire, or I'll know the reason why. <laughs> Mr. Franklin, well, 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 how very nice. Oh, it's you again. Yes. Mr. Bean Blossom, what did you do with Mr. Hamilton? I have something for him. Hamilton, Hamilton, that name sounds familiar. <laughs> oh, you've got the watch repaired. Repair that mess? I had to buy a new one. This one is shockproof. Shockproof? Oh, Are you sure? Dad, not again. Mr. Bean Blossom, give me that much. I, I got Mr. Bean Blossom. Just want to see if it's sturdy. Oh, I just want to test the guarantee. Oh, just stand still and it'll only take a second. No! No! Robert! Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> Mr. Franklin, I I'd ask for my money back if I were you. See, it isn't shockproof at all. You're Thackeray? That's right, I'm Thackeray. This young man's employer? Yes, sir, but... Mr. Thackeray, I want you to know the South Coast Trust Company is holding you personally responsible for that, that much crazy maniac's actions. You're with the South Coast Trust... Oh. Well, Mr. Thackeray, I, I suppose you feel this calls for some kind of explanation. Oh, no, no. Every man is entitled to a hobby. Yours just happens to be smashing watches. Oh, please don't worry, Mr. Thackeray. You won't get into trouble with the South Coast Trust Company because standing right out here is someone who can explain this whole thing. <laughs> Geraldine. Let me get this straight, Bobbo. You want that kitten to explain things to me? Oh, no, sir. Go away, Geraldine. I thought Sam was standing out here. Sam, where are you? Who's Sam? A cocker spaniel? <laughs> Sam! Here I am, boy. Mr. Hamilton. Right. Uh, I'm very glad now to... Now shut your mouth and let me do the talking. Yes, sir. Everything Bean Blossom did just now, he did in my orders. Don't give it a second thought. But, but, but the watch, forget it. Yes, sir, if you say so, sir. But it's, it's hard to believe that all this has a logical explanation. Well, it has, but we're not going to tell you what it is. Now, let's get down to business. Thackeray, I want to borrow your best salesman for a little business deal of mine. Okay with you? Yes, indeed, Mr. Hamilton. I'm at your disposal. <clears throat> I don't want you. I want Robert here. Instead of me? But I'd be glad to... Oh, I can't use you, Thackeray. You're too much of a blabbermouth. <laughs> Come on, son. Who'd yes, ever think they'd strike oil in Santa Rita? Oil? <laughs> Get a grip on yourself, Willis. Um, Bob was late, but after all, that was Mr. Hamilton's fault. And then he broke the gentleman's watch, but naturally they can't tell me why, because I'm a blabbermouth. And now they've struck oil in Santa Rita. I... Julie! Yes, Mr. Thackeray? Cancel all my appointments for the next couple of days. I'm going up to Santa Rita. Santa Rita, sir? Yes. If Sam Hamilton thinks he can keep Willis Thackeray out of this big oil deal, he's crazy. <laughs> Sam, 
you know what the penalty is for breaking, entering, and blowing a safe? Who do you think gave him that safe? Courthouse, too, come to think of it. Sam Hamilton, the famous philanthropist. Okay, so you got a safe cracking permit. <laughs> what about poor Bean Blossom there? He's only doing this because he likes you. Don't you worry about Robin. That boy can run like a deer. <laughs> Come on, Robert. Up and at him. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Sam. Mm. Mm. I'll be glad to get to that hotel. I'm really sleepy. Not a soul in sight. Perfect. Robin, mm -hmm. you stay here and watch the luggage while George and I stash the car away in the alley. The alley? And the hotel got a parking lot? Oh, too far away from the scene of the crime. Oh. Besides, we gotta be ready for a fast getaway. Fast getaway, yes. <laughs> fast getaway. <laughs> gotta tell him sooner or later, Sam. Tell me what. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What, what, what's in here? Sounds like it's full of tools. That's right, Robin. Burglar tools. We're gonna crack a safe. Oh! <laughs> what? Crack a safe? I think you hear somebody coming. See you in a minute. Hey, wait a minute, fellas. You can't leave me standing here with a bag full of burglar to... Burglar to... <laughs> this is probably another one of Sam's cock and bull stories. Now, <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> Just as I thought. <laughs> Nothing in here but an acetylene torch, dynamite, crowbars, yep. Good night. Evening, son. Evening, sir. Kinda chilly for this time of year, isn't it? Uh, chilly? Well, I would just think it was a little, uh, a little warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a stranger in town, ain't you? So, uh, well, uh, yes and no. Yes and no? Uh, well, yes, I, I've only been here a short time, but see, I'm the friendly type. I, I'm never a stranger for long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a constable here. Name's Adams. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> Just a little catch in my side there. I always get it when I walk too fast after eating. <laughs> you uh, got a name, son? Yeah, what's that? A name, you know. Name, name, no, no. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yes, I, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, Thackeray. <laughs> Will Smith Thackeray. I'm from Los Angeles. I, I'm a salesman, you see. Yeah, these are my samples, you see. <laughs> what do you sell? Uh, what do I sell? <laughs> yes, that's a good question, very good. Uh, well, it's this way, Constable. I, I, I don't exactly know. You don't know. No, well, you see, the company I work for likes to surprise me when I'm out on the road. <laughs> Catch again. <laughs> crowbars. Yes, th th that's it, crowbars. Yeah, but these aren't just ordinary crowbars. Oh, no, no, these are absolutely the finest crowbars manufactured in the country. Yeah, every part is warranted for 25 years. Yeah. Yeah, as a matter of fact, our crowbars are known from coast to coast as the, uh, as the, uh, Housewives delight. Hey, now. That's a beauty. Bits of hand, real nice. It sure does. How much are they? How, how much? You, you don't want to buy one, do you? Might. They aren't too expensive. Well, well Constable, seeing as who it is, uh, tell you what I'm going to do. I, I'm just going to make you a present that crowbar. You, you can have it. Just take it away with you. Well, that's mighty nice of you, Mr. Thackeray. Mr. Thackeray, where? <laughs> oh, yes, that's me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm so used to my friends calling me by the first name. Willis, that is. Well, thanks again, Willis. Uh, I'm going over to my office now and put away my crowbar. So long, Willis. So long, Cuss. <laughs> okay, let's get started. The side door's gonna be a cinch. Sam, I, I won't let you go on with this. Dynamite and everything. The town constable was just here. Oh, simmer down, boy. Give me a hand with the bag, George. Sam, I mean it. Huh? I won't let you go walking around with a bag full of explosives. Then how am I going to get into that safe? With my teeth? Sam, this is madness. Turning to a life of crime at your age. 
A man has a right to do what he wants to with his own property. And I gave Santa Rita that courthouse, the safe inside, and the drinking fountain in the park. Well, but then why don't we just blow up the drinking fountain, huh? Now look here. You made me a promise, Robert, and I'm going to hold you to it. Yes. A promise is a promise. Good boy. Let's get going. Sam, you're a genius. You could charm the birds out of the tree. <laughs> yeah. And this time he's really got himself a pigeon. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Something I can uh, do for you, stranger? Well, yes, Constable. I, I was here a moment ago looking for you. I see by this sign that you also happen to be in the real estate business. Don't mean to tell me you were out house hunting this time of night. <laughs> no, no, not exactly. But I would like to find if any options have been taken on large acreage around here recently. You planning on buying land in Santa Rita? Land? Well, oh, I'm going to build a factory. <laughs> That's it, a factory. And uh, what are you going to make in your factory? Make in the factory? Mm -hmm. I, well, uh, uh, crowbars. Crowbars? Yes, they seem to be going like hotcakes these days. Practically everybody wants a crowbar. Well, now, if you need a salesman, I think I know where you can find one. Uh, the young fellow that gave me this sample. There's a crowbar salesman in town? Nice boy. Goes by the name of Willis Thackeray. Did you say Willis Thackeray? No, I'm no, 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 no. <laughs> that is, I, um, well, I, uh, I was just surprised to hear a name so much like my own. <laughs> and, uh, what is your name? Name? Yeah. My name? Uh, uh, Bean Blossom. <laughs> Robert S. Bean Blossom. Bean Blossom. Oh, come now, I never heard such a crazy alias in all my life. Nevertheless, that's my name. <laughs> Good night, Constable. Good night. <clears throat> oh, oh, say, um, <clears throat> If uh, anybody had taken up any options on uh, large acreage here recently, I imagine there'd be a record of it in the courthouse. That's right. Uh, well, thank you, sir. That's where I met that young fellow, Willis Thackeray. You met Mr. Thackeray near the courthouse? Yep. About uh, ten minutes ago. It's right down there, end of the block. Say, I, uh, I might just walk over there to uh, see what it looks like. I mean, so I'll know where it is in the morning, of course. Of course. Yeah. Well, good night, Bean Blossom. Where? <laughs> oh, <laughs> good night. Good night, Constable. the South Coast Trust Company is the only bank in the country that's got a safe cracker for a president. <laughs> Where are you, son? Oh. Here I am, Sam. I got the blanket. No, that's fine. Now get some gunpowder. We got gunpowder, too? Oh, yes. I find it by far the better method. Oh, really? George, find me a piece of fuse. Find it yourself, Sam. Holding the flashlight is as far as I go. <laughs> I'm telling you, Sam, you're going to blow out every window in the place. Why don't you just accept the gold watch and retire? No, oh, we could just dump this wet blanket. <laughs> thought I heard a noise. I knew I forgot something. Beat it, George. You're the lookout. Thanks a lot. I'll feel much safer in the open. And keep the motor running. Criminals certainly waste a lot of gas, don't they? Yeah. Now the deadwood's gone, let's get moving. 
Oh, you poor. Howdy. Oh, Sam, hey, I'm on. There. More, boy, more. You've got to blow off this door. Blow off the door? I'm wondering if we'll be able to find the safe. Oh, <laughs> stop worrying. I told you I've got a check for a brand new deluxe model in the mail. Bobo. Did you bring a piece of punk to light this with? Punk? Robin, this isn't a sparkler. Here, light it up and stand back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sam, is it too late to take my promise back? It sure is. Let her go. <laughs> Bombs away, boy. Bombs away, yes. <laughs> ah, take it easy, son. Take it easy. That fuse is plenty long. Bobo. Bobo? Bobo, are you in here? <laughs> I smell something. Something burning in here? Doctor. Get out of here quick. There's going to be a terrible explosion. Bean Blossom, I didn't come all the way up here from Los Angeles just to run away from an... <laughs> explosion! <laughs> See you later, Bob! <laughs> oh. Excuse me, sir. That brought you. Shut up and follow me. Well, it's your powder. Where'd you get it? Out of a cap pistol? Well, son, we just... <laughs> Sam. Sam, hurry. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Please, Sam, don't, don't, don't. You will waste time. Look, I... Sam, look. We gotta get out of here. The whole town will be in on us. Don't do this here. Let's do it at home. Sam, please listen to me. Holy mackerel, look at here. I wasn't born in 1888 at all. It was 91. 91? Yeah. Sam, you're only 62 years old. <laughs> oh, now I remember. I lied to the Navy about my age when I enlisted as a frogman. <laughs> now you remember. <laughs> Sam, they can't make you retire now, not even if they give you a grandfather's clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Hands up. And remember, I'm the nervous type. Don't be a fool, Herman. Put that gun away before you hurt yourself. Sam Hamilton. Come on, son. Hello, Mr. Thackeray. Bean Blossom. Thackeray. Bean Blossom. <laughs> and you know, Julie, Sam Hamilton had us all out of jail in two hours with suspended sentences. And Julie, <laughs> Sam's gonna let Mr. Thackeray make the speech at the dedication of the new safe. Yeah, the old boy's taking quite a fancy to me. <laughs> and I owe it all to you, Bob. Oh, it's nothing, sir. Mr. Thackeray. Yes, sir? I understand Mr. Hamilton will be here any minute, and I must present him with this. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My hero, you're really dynamite.